Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of my favorite fall lipsticks. I went back in my drawer and just picked out ones that I take out season after season. Most of these aren't new. The only two new ones I have are these ones right here. They're from the Melt Undertone Nude Collection that came out um, at the end of August. All the rest are the ones that I pick out year after year. You've definitely seen them all on my Instagram multiple times. They're just my staples. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. So the first lipstick I'm going to be talking about is the one I'm wearing currently and that is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Malt. It is such a beautiful chocolate brown. I really love this color because it doesn't pull too red. I find it really hard to find a good brown chocolatey lipstick. They either pull too gray or either too red, but this one is just like the perfect neutral, like it's a true chocolate brown on my skin tone anyway. I really love the ABH formula and I'm going to be talking about a few other shades as well. I just really love their formula because it doesn't feel too drying and it doesn't cling onto your lip lines as much so it doesn't give you that really unattractive butthole lip. I stay far far away from any lipsticks that do that to me. So I'm going to also be doing some swatches. I just started this video with this one because I did a few photos earlier. So but for the, here on out I'm going to be doing like a close up lip swatch video of me applying all these lipsticks. So rest in peace my lips. But anyways that's the first one. I love it. The second one is another Anastasia liquid lipstick and it's in the shade Trust Issues. It's just the perfect very plum purple. It just screams fall Pinterest board. I remember it took me so long to find my perfect shade like this and I ever since I found this one I brought it back season after season. I need to pick up a new one because this it has changed. <laughs> I think just the consistency and also it's their old packaging like they updated their doe foot applicator. I need to pick up a fresh tube of this because it's been my favorite for like three years. It's not too pink or purple, it just sits right in between the perfect plum shade. I just absolutely love this one. And this one's really nice because it makes your teeth look so white, like 10 times whiter than they actually are, which is a mega plus. And the next one is Melt Mum. This was my first purchase from Melt. It was the Primrose lipstick collection. I think I also got the Rust deck at the same time. And that is what made me fall in love with Melt as a brand, as well as these really rusty orange shades. This is the number one I reach for when I want a rusty orange shade. I never stray away from this one. This one never disappoints. I think it's just so stunning and the formula is really beautiful. It makes your lips look really nice and plump. It is very, very well loved in my collection. It comes with me to every trip I go on, even hot ones. It's a, actually a year long wear for me. I wear it all all year round. I think it's stunning and I love it so much. This next one, oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's the Milk, I don't know what their lipsticks are called. I don't know if they have like a cool name for them. It's not on here, but this is the shade Wavy. I've spoken about this one time and time again on my channel. It is such a beautiful formula. It's very hydrating. It almost feels like you're not wearing anything on the lips, but it has such a beautiful impact. It's very pigmented. It feels very, very nourishing on the lips. And I just think this shade is so beautiful. It's a really nice saddle brown. It has a lot of warmness to it. I have a few Instagram posts up wearing this one. And those are some of my all-time favorite looks I've put out on my Instagram. I just really, really love this color. It's my favorite out of their whole lineup of these. Also, it's really cute that they have the name right here. I think it's just a really stunning component. I love the magnetic closure. It's just satisfying. This next one here is Melt's Ginger from the Undertone Nude Collection. I've worn this so much recently. I used it in my Jackie Aina 3 Looks 1 palette video. It's just such a stunning color. It's a red brown shade. It might be similar to Mum, but I think Mum is a little bit more... Here, let me swatch them just to see. Here's Mum and Ginger side by side. So you can see Mum is a lot more orange, whereas this one's a lot more neutral, kind of red pulling. I don't know, beautiful, beautiful color. I really like Melt's liquid lipstick formula. It is one that I find to be very unique. It's very, very thin, and it feels like nothing on the lips, but 
even though that it's thin, it doesn't cling on to your lip lines at all either. It's just a really flattering liquid lipstick. This is another melt one, and it's the shade Chestnut. This is a very interesting shade. It's very, very unique to my collection anyways. It's kind of... It pulls like a yellow green undertone on me. My undertone is yellow, so maybe that's why it kind of looks okay on my skin tone. It's very odd, but such a beautiful brown. I'm a big fan of this one. On their website, I just wanted to see what they described this shade as because I have no clue what this looks like, but it's they describe it as a sable brown. I don't know. It's just very unique. I really love finding some good, interesting brown lip shades. And another thing that's very admirable about this shade is that it only takes one thin coat of it to go on full opacity. I think that's pretty impressive. Like sometimes even with the Anastasia liquid lipsticks, you have to pass it over a few times. Um, thankfully, their formula doesn't crack this either, but I don't know. I think it's really cool that you only need one easy layer and it's finished. Also, something that's really awesome is that they're super, super easy to take off. So because when I wear liquid lipsticks out in public, if I have to reapply, I will remove the whole thing instead of just adding more because I feel like when you add more on top of an already existing liquid lipstick, it starts to get like crumbly and weird. And just pasty it's a disgusting feeling but I always just remove and reapply so it looks completely fresh so it's really nice that these are super easy to remove the next one is this Glossier Generation G in the shade Leo I featured this one so many times on my channel you probably guessed that this is gonna be in this video every time I wear this one people ask me non-stop what I'm wearing on my lips also as a side note I have the reformulated version I've never tried the old formula but I really really adore this it's very sheer and very soft on the lips it almost feels nourishing even though it's very matte I love how sheer it is it's like a perfect nude brown I just think it's stunning and something I've been really into lately, this is just kind of a combo I've been really loving, is adding the Glossier Red Gloss on top. And it just slightly changes it into a beautiful, rusty brown shade. And I obviously really like these shades. I've been really feeling these tones lately. I think they just scream fall and coziness. The glossy gloss is unbeatable. You guys know how much I love their gloss as well. It's just my number one favorite gloss of all time. It just makes, it fills in all your lines. It makes your lips look like glass. There's like nothing better I could ask for in a gloss. This is another ABH liquid lipstick, and this one is in the shade Heathers. I didn't do the best application. I'm, my lips are getting a little tired, but it's okay. This one is one that I've loved time and time again. It's such a beautiful dark red. It reminds, it, when it's on the lips, it just reminds me of like a red velvet cake or like velvet itself. I just think it's such a stunning red to wear through fall. Like it's not too cherry, it's just a little toned down, but this one is just like... Yep, that's fall. This one is one of my Pat McGrath favorites. It's the Matte Trance Lipstick in the shade 041 Guinevere. It is such a beautiful red. This is as bright as red I would wear in the fall. It's still a little, ha it still has a little bit of that darkness, a little bit of a wine red, but it's so stunning. It kind of reminds me of the perfect snow white <laughs> color. I don't know what it is about it. It just looks like a, an apple and just has that subtle sheen to it. And it's just such a stunning formula. As you saw, it just like glides on without effort. Her line kills me and also makes my bank account cry. This is my second to last one. And I think this is the one I've been wearing most frequently. This is the ABH Mode Liquid Lipstick. This one. Oh my goodness, I don't know what it is about it. Once I have it on my lips, it's like an extra boost of confidence. This one has got to be my number one favorite of the season so far. I will try to resist wearing it every day. It looks like the pumpkin spice cold brew that Starbucks has this season in a lipstick. If you haven't tried that drink already, highly recommend. That one's my favorite. It's so good. I just really love this one. It's very rusty brown but it doesn't pull red, it's more of a orange. It's like what I envision this year's fall for me to be. 
this liquid lipstick, and this sweater. This is my new sweater from Aritzia. I, have, I haven't taken it off. These two together, dream team. I wasn't going to include this one, but I felt like I just needed to. It's like black. And this is the ABH Midnight Liquid Lipstick. I have a lot of ABH favorites, I just realized. I was also going to include some weird fall lipsticks that I like to wear on occasion, like some blues and stuff like that, but I thought it might be fun to do a separate video, like doing unwearable lipsticks and unusual ones and cool shades that you don't really see on a day-to-day -day basis on the street. So let me know if that would be of interest because I would love to film that. I think it'd be super fun. That is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the lipsticks I picked out of my drawers that I felt really excited about. They're all pretty much old favorites. Like I've used, I've pulled these out year after year. So let me know what lipsticks you've been loving lately because I could use some new favorites maybe. I'll make sure to link all of these in the description down below. And before I go, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already and give this video a like if you liked it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!